Hey, what is going on guys? Today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at the iPod Nano 6th generation. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is one of my mini iPods. I did have a previous Nano uh, before this one, but this is the last iPod Nano that I actually picked up. And this iPod Nano came out back in 2010, so it's hard to believe that that was already nine years ago. So when the sixth generation came out, Apple did a pretty major update to it compared to the fifth generation. The fifth generation iPod Nano was the iPod kind of Nano that we all known and loved. It had the click wheel and it also had a camera that Apple made a really big deal about, which it was interesting that they decided to just ditch all of that and go for a very compact design. This design really, really deserves the Nano name. I mean, this thing is really tiny. It's about the size of an Apple Watch. 38 millimeter, I would say, but we'll get to that here in a moment. So the iPod Nano 6 Gen came in seven colors. This is the orange one that I have. Orange is my favorite color. So of course, that's why I picked it. And this also came in 8 gig and 16 gig configurations. Now I do have a 16 gigabyte model right here. And if I remember correctly, this model was $179. The interesting thing though about this device is how you navigate. Apple really made a big deal. This was a multi-touch display and it was such on a tiny display. I believe this is the tiniest multi-touch display at the time. Navigation on this thing is really simple. It's a touch screen and whenever you go into menus, all you have to do is swipe from the left side towards the right and you can go back to a previous page. So they made navigation really simple and easy to use and of course if you take two fingers and rotate them on the screen you can flip the orientation of the screen but that's really the only thing you can do besides uh, pinch to zoom with the multi-touch in photos but it is still pretty cool that this is a multi-touch display and it's this tiny battery life you get about 24 hours of music playback which is pretty good just sitting here and kind of goofing off with it the batteries only went down just a tiny bit so i definitely do believe that now the applications that come pre-installed on the iPod Nano 6 Gen, it's kind of interesting because you lost a lot compared to the 5th Gen. I mean, you lost your calendar, you lost Solitaire, come on, Solitaire. But you lost several things compared to uh, this one right here, the 6th Generation. So on the 6th Generation, you get all your music stuff, so you get the music app, live radio, and the Nike Plus iPod Fitness app, the clock, photos, audiobooks, podcasts, the iTunes University, and voice memos. So really just the bare minimum here, obviously focused on music. Using photos on this thing is just a joke. It's kind of just, you know, this little party trick you can show. The coolest thing though is the clock, and a lot of people call this the Apple Watch of 2010 because that's exactly what it was the ability to choose the different clock faces and there is a bunch of them as well and even some that we see on apple watch today such as mickey and minnie mouse but yeah this was actually used a lot as just a watch i know people strap these things to watch bands and pretend it like they had an apple watch and when you hold it next to an apple watch today you can see just how similar in size it was. So is this really the first Apple Watch we had? There's also an option in the menu to have the clock appear on wake, so that is pretty cool as well. So is this device still usable in 2019? Well, absolutely, if you like music and that's about it. It's gonna be a little bit difficult though here in a few months when we no longer have iTunes to actually sync your music up to this thing. But today with everybody having their music on their iPhones, not a lot of people are gonna have a use for an iPod. But this thing still works. I don't use it anymore, but if I wanted to, I could definitely use this thing still in 2019. Although most people probably aren't. So anyways guys, I'm going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video. Let me know if there's any 
other older tech devices you want me to review on the channel. Anyways guys, like I said, please subscribe and I will get you all in the next one.